all right guys welcome back to the channel we're in this abandoned time capsule it's absolutely untouched from when the guy lived here we have spoken to the neighbors in the past last time we tried to come in this place and what we've been told is the guy was single he was a bachelor he lived alone and he passed away in 2015 so with that said like comment subscribe hit notification bell and we're gonna get straight into this guys proper interesting place and everything is left inside like i said so uh enjoy it straight away guys we're in this kitchen all these left exactly where the guy left it i don't have a name yet but i'm uh i'm sure we'll find something to give us a name of the bachelor let's have a look at this tomato ketchup 28 11 2015 so there you go guys the story matches up look at these these look older than five years though this kettle toaster could stay at this oven seen better days there's a little cat food tray there so we obviously had a pet i always wonder what happens to the pets because if uh, all this stuff gets left behind what happens to the cats and dogs and that if they've got no one to leave their stuff to all stuff underneath here wow the last guy to touch us is now sadly passed away no one to leave anything to sad it is sad look where nature this has fell off from the tree above come crashing through this ceiling imagine that guys if you were in here look it's took this off the shelf it's took this cupboard off the shelf but check this out everything's exactly where it should be where the guy left it let's have a look in here if we can very old cupboards they look uh diy cupboards you know wow all his cutlery and stuff in there though it still has the uh kitchen roll where he left it there's his wellies all under here it is a farmhouse so makes sense we're going to push forward into the next room now guys wow you can see where the windows have gone through there but what do we have here bit of a dining room maybe wow look at this big old plate we've seen one of these recently on an explore but it was all smashed so I'm glad to see this how it is now in the right condition here we go calendar December 1997 see that's strange why would it be on that date here's another calendar here I can't really see a date on that I can't see a year Houses of Parliament there. Look at the fire damage in this room. Quite significant as well. Only on the walls though. Nothing else seems to uh, be fire damaged. Got the sinks and that here. All these letters thrown all over the floor. Look at these books. Exactly where we left them. Phone books and stuff like that there. Let's have a look in this cabinet and see what we can see. All his glasses, tumblers, little shot glasses, everything here. There's a picture there. Oh, it's that place, Clan Via, Poor Gelly, Go Go Go, that dead long Welsh name. Look at these big plates, though, there's another one here. Wow, proper time capsule, this. Commemorative plate here in the detail on that I think this is just like a mass production one it's nothing nothing special though but check that look at his socks all hanging up still underpants wow there's a chair here that's tipped over for some reason not really sure why but look at the decay all coming down there Let's head through to the next room here. Look 
look at this jacket still on the wall. Jacket hung up there as well. Jesus. We head through here. Bit of a pantry under the stairs there. Hoover. Bits and bobs left inside. Oh, there's the old gas. Gas lantern at the back there. For emergencies, I suppose. Here we go again. Hats. Look, he's got a hat on each jacket. All men's jackets. So it does look like it's a bachelor. Oh, check that out. What a place this is. They're all quite good condition as well, guys. I was going to fall there. But we just have like filing cabinets here. More jackets. Got lots of letters here, but I'm going to be careful not to show an address here. Can't see any names at the moment. Here is driving gloves. Hang on, let me just look up there for a sec while I look at this. Okay, initial J. Look at the shoes. Size nines. Proper old style shoes them, aren't they? Oh, check these. For wiping your... Brushing your jackets down. Wow, he was the last person to touch these. Stop that swing in there. What do you think, Steve? Could be a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of stuff. Bit of a hoarder, it looks like, doesn't it? Yeah, there's loads, mate. The cupboard is crammed. Yeah, the food is 2015. <sighs> Check these artwork. Still hanging in place. There is a lot of stuff here. So five years abandoned. They're sick, aren't they? You can see them better now. Second dining room. Oh, look at the clock. I'll go around and have a look at that. What's that? Just you have to come here to see it. I'll have a look now. There's so much stuff, isn't there? I'm not even going to move it, I'm just going to take a good shot of it. Yeah, you don't need to, mate. Wow. You can't even move it. It's been there, I'm trying to move it before. Hey, look at that little coal cupboard. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Just push that bottle up, what's left? <laughs> Jesus. That one moves. It's obviously leaked and then stuck to the table, hasn't it? But look at this, you can't move, man. All the magazines stacked up there. Check this out. Everything in its place. All the plates, cups. Is cereal still here? Wow. What do we have there? Just old uh, glass doors for the cabinets. The curtain's still hanging. Been eaten away there though. Look at the decay. Shave there. Wow. Got a shaving nostalgia. Crazy, there, isn't it? Got a shaving nostalgia for you. This old picture here. A lot of old pictures. I like finding these. <clears throat> and clock there and the candlesticks. Wow. Hey, not bad for the first of the day. Yeah, this is what we want, mate. What we want to be like this now. Yeah. <clears throat> you can see where there was a oh, mirror hanging here. Memory cards are full. Yeah. What's new in farming? We check the decay on this windows. Look at this. Wow. I don't want to touch anything, guys. I don't want to move anything because it's all. You don't need to, mate. No, it's all jumbled. It'd be authentic. And it'll, uh, I don't want to knock anything off the tables either. Because I think it'll come down like a house of cards. I think we have one more room down here to check out. Which should 
be the living room. Oh wow, look at these magazines. There's his chair under there, his footstool. You can just make that out. No TV here, guys. Wow, look at this big dresser. That is a big old dresser there, guys. More magazines. Little penguins there. There's another chair under there. That window actually goes out into the kitchen, which is strange. A lot of calendars. Not showing a year on there, though. And the mirrors there. Wow, more candlesticks, family photos. Advent calendar. Maybe it was Christmas time when he left. Oh, here's a TV box. No TV, though. Hmm. Curious. Look at all these magazines just piled on this chair. And at the back here. Look at them piled high. Insane. What's that? That's a bit of... Uh, it's an aquarium. No, it's a light, so that would shine through like an aquarium. You can make that out. It would obviously have water in it because all this has sank down now. And another cabinet here. The little figurines on. Little clock. That's like a retirement clock, that. Happy 65th birthday, there you go. God, I'm getting good at this. 65. A few bits left in there, not much though. But wow, what a place. Bit of a hoarder's paradise. See if we can find anything in here. Tic Tacs, shake your Tic Tacs. Just absolutely rammed, bit of a hoarder. See if I can make anything out without showing an address. Got a few crosses and a few religious stuff knocking about. But wow. So what do you guys think so far? I'm thinking bit of a hoarder, bachelor, lived alone, 65. What a sad, bit, bit of a sad life. Maybe some people are into that though. Maybe some people want to live like that. I wonder if the electric's on. No, no electric. But we're just going to knock around now, get some photos of downstairs and then we're going to head up and check out the upstairs. So guys, we're about to head upstairs. Pictures are all done from downstairs now. 
So we'll have a little look what we've got around here. We'll start off in here. Wow, this bathroom. Oh my days, look at this. All the blankets, towels, all left exactly where they should be. It's impressive this, dude. Yeah. Let's check out all of his stuff. Look at that brush there. Chief brush. I'm not really sure what that is next to it. Gibbs medium. Is that for shaving or something? I'm not really sure. Got a few bits on here, deep heat. Mirrors. Petroleum jelly. Bit of Vaseline in that. Hmm. Got a toilet seat with its cover. Little carpet cover on it. Wow. All the tiling. A few bits here. Look at these cobwebs. But check these. Wow. Sky blue. Nice. Good sized bathroom as well. Got the carpets and rugs still down. But look at all that. That is impressive. We'll head through. Oh, what's this? Is that a saddle? Looks like it, doesn't it? It does. It's back brace, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, look, yeah, it's a back brace. Is it? Yeah, you can see where your arms go through and then you've got the belt. I've not seen one of them before, that's cool. Yeah. Into a bedroom. Let's have a look here, what do we have? It's got the bed there. Got no clothes left, which is always nice to find when you get a few bits of clothing. What do we have here? Ah, a woman's house coat. That doesn't add up to the story the neighbour told us though. Unless it was the guy's mother or something and he died. Or she died, left him here. Hey? It's what? I'll play yeah, I can't hear you. Need to brush it. This is definitely a female's room. Definitely. A few bits in here. What's that? Mary Tree. Oh, I'm not really sure. Cookery books, things like that. What are these? Large... They're like lights, I think. I'm not too sure. Wow. More cookery books. We'll head through. Down the corridor. I will go in here. Nice little room here. Oh, there you go, there's all the clothes in the wardrobe. The bed there. Looks like it's had something lay on the bed, someone's moved it. We are one of the first people to come into this one, guys. I say one of, because the door was open, but it wasn't last time we came, so... We'll make of that of what you will. And we didn't tell anyone about the place, so... Look at this farmer's jacket. See the male's clothes are left here. Wow. These old farmer jackets. These are all left, whereas the women's clothes have all gone. So maybe he did live with his mother. He was a bachelor. A few bits on here. All this exactly where he left it. Look at the details in the bed as well. The bed frame. I don't know if you can make that out from here. There's all little patterns across the top there. Oh, what's this? Oh, little uh, trinket box. That's for talc, Lisa taught me. Hmm. Someone had bunions. The sore feet. Little medicine bottles at the back there. With corks in. Wow. This is so cool. 
few hair brushes and clocks there. Let's see if there's anything in here. Nah, emptied out, but the bottom drawer's got stuff in. I love finding these though, such such curiosity. Why would they leave that? Oh, check this. Check this out. Look at this hat. Wow. I'm gonna put that there, just so it's a bit out of the way of the window. Because that window's broken there. Might last a bit longer if I put it there. That's my thinking anyway. Wow, what's this? Just a tin. Ah, it's off the tin off the lid off that. His socks across the floor there. Ah, there's the box. Hat box that we've learned over our explores. There's the lid for it under there. Oh, look how his bed's held up. A bedpan under there. See a lot of them. These older houses. Yeah. And we just got the drawers crammed. Is it? They're quite yeah, they're empty in that one. Everything see all braces on bed. I'll have a look. Wow. This room looks like the most used room. Do you not surprise what we've not found? Go on. Photographs. No, we haven't, have we? Might be in that living room though, you see seen everything thrown around. What do we have here? Uh, braces, pencils, a few socks and stuff like that. Farmer's flat hat. That's a nice find. I like that. Look <gasps> at his pyjamas on the bed. See this, Steve? Yeah. His pyjamas are still laid out. That is a, that's weird. To see that. Some more jackets and clothes hung up here. The tie rack. Wow. This is nice. More jackets there. And what do we have here? More flat hats. Yeah. A lot of socks as well. Stay fresh. Indestructible socks. We could do with them. Yeah. The mirror there. Look, that's not been moved. Oh, shouldn't have moved that. That's not been moved. Look at the, where there's no dust underneath. I'm going to try and put that back exactly where it was. A little brush for your clothes and that there. But check the decay in this room. This one's really quite bad. That wall's pretty much stripped. Plaster's coming off the wall here. Look at the ivy growing on the outside there. I really like this one, Steve. It's, it's a good one. Another bedpan. What do we have under there? I can't really get under. A few bits, though. So, guys, what I'm thinking... The guy either lived with his mum and his mum passed and left him here, or maybe it was his wife. I'm thinking mum just because of the separate room. Because these two rooms just have men's clothes in. That one's got women's clothes. Women's stuff, sorry, not clothes. In here, there's a back brace. So maybe someone was ill or found it difficult to get around. Curious, hmm. I do this a lot with my beard now as well, now it's getting quite long. Right guys, so we're going to get a few extra pics and we'll have a little look outside, see what we can see. This place is unreal, I'm loving it. <laughs>
Right guys, so we're just heading outside now. Just gonna check these uh these sheds and stuff like that. I have seen a car over there that I want to check out. But this is a proper old workshop here. Look at this old saw. Wow. It's absolutely rammed in here, guys. Didn't expect this. So much stuff in here. It's a lot of old work stuff, to be honest. So see if we can get over there. And just have a look in that cupboard. I don't want to break anything by going over it. Let's get this little light on here. Alright, what do we have? Uh, syringes. Is this for his farm, maybe? There's so much different stuff, it's like hard to work out what, he's, what he did for a living. Draw off saying, that's a needle, lambing. Ah, so it's just definitely a farmer, guys. Defo a farmer. <coughs> Rammed and hasty. All old farm gear and that. See the uh, scythe by the front door? No. It's only small. Edit that out. It's only a tiny one. Is it? Not like a fucking big thing like a gun. Right, let's head out and have a look. Yeah, the old coal shed. Do you know what I've noticed that I didn't notice before? What? The car. Oh yeah, yeah, I spotted that before. Did you? So we'll have a little... Uh... Yeah, we'll have a route. Look at that sun, that's terrible. We've got all these sheds, which is all this. It's quite a big uh, barn, that. Just trying to sneak around and have a look at this car. I think we should be alright for a sec. If we go around quite quick. It's an old Peugeot. Uh, 205? So 204 maybe? Have I just invented that? But yeah, that's a nice little find, isn't it? I'm not going to go over because I don't want to get stung. We've got this uh, shed here as well. Looks like it unlocks eventually. And what do we have in here? What the heck is that? Can someone let me know in the comments what that is for? I've not seen that before. A bit random. And then we'll just have a little look in here. Oh, look at the roofs all come in here. Jesus, seen better days. Can't really make much out. But we're gonna head back out now anyway. So guys, let me know what you think of this Explore. Smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe. Hit notification bell if you're new. So you don't miss any future Explores. We're off to the next one now guys, so thanks for watching and have a great day. Cheers.